everyone, welcome back to Build. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper. Pamela Adlon's FX series, Better Things, is a story of Sam Fox, a single mother and working actor with no filter, raising her three daughters. Olivia Edward plays Duke, the youngest and sweetest member of the family who starts to grow up in season three. Take a look. Husband! Wife! Duke! Duke, come, come here. Don't leave me. Mom? No, I can't talk to parents. Mom. It's okay, let me be with my friends. Okay, okay, sorry, go. But just, you know, the classroom's open at six. You have to meet me outside before. Okay, love you. Help me welcome Olivia Edward. Hey. How you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm loving your energy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's so much I'm, fun. Honestly, we, we've already clicked. We, we have already vibed clicked. so it's, much. We're already, we've already loved. We already love each Guys, other. We're this is best great. friends. This is the cutest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> um, I love Better Things. It is so funny and emotional, and I'm so happy that we have season three. What are you most excited for people to get to see about your character in season three? Well, I think every season, you know, you see a different side of all the characters. So it's just another side that you're going to see in this season. Yeah. And I know that Duke, though, is she's getting older, and she's starting to want to distance herself a little bit from her mom. Yeah. So Yep, as we see. As you just saw. So what is like that playing? Because in previous seasons, she was kind of nice and just wants to be close to her mom, and now you have to sort of take on a new persona. Yeah, well, I think like most people, what happens is they try to find their, themselves. And I mean, she has the, you see the pink streaks, you know, she's trying to figure out who she is, what her look is. And I think she's still, you know, she has the sweet vibe, but I think she's also trying, to, you know, to have it like another personality. I think she's trying to build on her personality. Yeah. Do you identify with Duke at all? In which, in what ways are you like her? In which ways are you different? Uh, I will say straight away that we have a special connection with our mothers, and we have a special connection with our family and our siblings. Even though there will be fights, <laughs> probably I probably won't have as big as fights as she does with her family because those can get very chaotic very fast. Um, but one thing I will say is different is we do not dress alike <laughs> at all. She wears. None of this. <laughs> Basically, anything that's not this, she wears. Awesome. <laughs> so is that fun for you then, just to get to kind of do something that's so opposite? It is, because it's like exploring a completely new character. It's like a double life. It's yeah. pretty fun. Do you ever have fans, though, that come up and they think that you're like Duke, and you're like, no, 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 I'm different? It's happened It's, ha it's happened once or twice, but for the most part, I think they understand that like we're different people, but it's yeah. pretty funny. And you don't have sisters in real life, do you? No, I have one older brother. Yeah, so what is it like getting to have, you know, Max and Frankie, the characters, but in real life, Hannah and Mikey, as your sisters? Well, they are actually, like, my sisters, because the entire set, we've all kind of grown as a family now. Mm -hmm. So it's basically become like, oh, this is not even, like, I don't feel like I'm acting because yeah. we're actually like sisters. Yeah, what is your kind of favorite part on the downtime on set? What do you guys do? What do you guys talk about? <laughs> okay. okay, so I love when people ask this question because it's really fun. So it's really fun because be between scenes or whenever, you know, we have a bit of an hour break and I'm not getting tutored or whatever and we take breaks, usually we go to get our Nerf guns, and we have a Nerf gun war. This goes on for about 30 minutes before someone comes in and is like, what you guys doing? We're like, we're working on the next script. We are so working. And then usually they leave and we're like, Nerf gun! Right. <laughs> How intense do these Nerf gun fights get? They can get very intense. Mm. They actually have um, goggles that they have in their drawer just in case it gets very intense, because it can get very intense. I love that though. There's <laughs> nothing like a Nerf gun fight. It's actually very fun. Yeah. It's, it's really, it is really fun because you can have targets or it can be just like a plain old like teams or one on one. It's been very fun. And Pamela Adlon, <laughs> we know, is the creator and director of this show. She plays your mom. Yes. So, what have you learned from working with her? I mean, she's such an inspiration, not only to me, but to so many women and young ladies out there because she doesn't only star but she directs she writes she produces she does all these things she wears so many hats on this show and watching her work on set and seeing her on better things is just incredible yeah does that inspire you do you think one day you want to take on a role oh. like that and direct or do anything beyond acting yeah absolutely i think watching her juggle all these things and then having three girls actually at home yeah. that definitely inspire inspires me to want to write, direct. I'm already kind of uh, working on learning to edit yeah. with like tiny movies. 
Yeah. So do you edit on like iMovie or do you have like Adobe? IMovie. Yeah, that's a good iMovie. I've been trying. I've been trying to work on other things from iMovie because I've learned there are some things you can't do in iMovie. That, iMovie that you can do on other yeah. um, apps, but. I think that's so cool to start at your age. What kind of little shorts do you like to do right now? Uh, uh, well, I've liked to do one. I actually did this one when I was very young. You uh, are still very young. Well, <laughs> more, more, more small and more younger than I am right now. Probably I was like seven. Oh, wow. I, may, I came up with a spy, and I'm forgetting her name now, but she was a spy, and I'd use like my teddy bears as like the evil villains, and then I'd have like a jump rope, and I'd make them like tie up the other wow. little holes, and I'd save them and put them in jail. And I was like, this looks so good. I could actually do this. I love this creativity. <laughs> that means in the future I can see you definitely directing your own show or I would film. really love that. That sounds like a blast. Yeah. And and so the show Better Things uh, is definitely more of a mature show. Yes. <laughs> um, and you are 12 years old, right? Mm -hmm. So what is that like? Because I've read that in season three, uh, there's a scene where you get to just basically curse and just kind of go nuts. Yes. So what was it like filming that scene? Okay. <laughs> Once, when I read the script and I saw this scene, I laughed out. I was on the floor dying because it was so funny. Because Duke, you know, she's cursed here and there. Yeah. She said some crazy things in season one, like the first episode, playing Monopoly. Yes, <laughs> yes I remember that. Yes. I will never look at those houses the same again. <laughs> <laughs> However, um, season three, she really just goes at it. She really just says what she wants to say. She doesn't hold anything back. I'm a little scared, but it was really funny because I would have some takes where I'd do a completely serious, I'd be focused. Other ones, I'd laugh out loud in the middle of it because it was so funny. And it was really hard to just stay angry because it was so funny what I was saying. Because you don't get to use those words. No, 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 no. So that's really fun. That's actually, yeah. at 12 years old, I never got to use bad words either. <laughs> so um, I also know that there's a scene that I got to watch in the first episode where um, Duke sees... A ghost. Yes, she does. Yes. And I know that your dad is a medium. Yes. John Edward. So did he give you any tips on how to approach that scene? <laughs> well, it w I love that they were bringing this, um, this type of thing into the show because I love anything that has to do with that world or that, that kind of Supernatural yeah, sort supernatural of. supernatural kind of place. Mm -hmm. So, and it was also like a validation because it was like, oh, that's really nice that they're putting that in the show. And my dad was also very happy about it. <laughs> and uh, I have to go back to the season two finale really mm -hmm. quick because I know you sing and dance and act. And that was one of my favorite episodes because you guys all do this choreographed dance number. Um, so are we going to see any more of that going forward in season three? I'm not so sure, but I, you might not, but you might. It's not decided yet. Mm. But what most people don't know, and some do, but most people don't know, Mikey, who plays Max, had no idea that that dance was actually going to happen. And we practiced for three months. And the first time we came up with it, we decided, OK, if someone gives it away, it's going to be awful. So I decided we should come up with like a code name or like a code word. So we said, OK, it's tilted. So maybe if we say, sit up straight, maybe, or like straight, straight, yeah. so like straighten up your back, it'll uh, help. And it and we had to use it a few times. Uh, I was with one of the, I was with Hannah, and we were ha we were going to our sleepover because we like to have sleepovers, sleepovers every season. And she was like, yeah, and tomorrow we have to go to the dance. And Mike was like, what dance? And I was like, Hannah, sit up straight. Your back's like, <laughs> she's doing something weird with your back. And she was like, up. Oh, no, I have crazy dreams. You know, when you have those dreams, Mikey was like, yeah, okay. She suspected nothing. And it was so much fun. So then was her reaction pretty genuine? It was, yeah, it was gen They used it in the show. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's amazing. And this isn't the only time we've done something like this because Pamela really likes to keep it real and she likes to not, sometimes she likes to not tell us what's going to happen in the scene just to get our pure reaction in, I believe this was season one when... Lenny Kravitz was on, which was so cool. That was so cool. That was like a pretty fun day on set. We agree on Lenny as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she did not tell us what uh, Nan was going to say. Mm -hmm. So that was our actual reaction. And our reaction was to just keep eating and maybe it'll go away. <laughs> that was 
summed up our reaction. So when did you start acting? What was your first role? Uh, I started acting around two or three. Okay. Uh, my first really uh, big role was actually this. And, but my first ever, ever thing was uh, radio, was a tiny radio <laughs> commercial. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. Uh, but this was, this is an amazing experience. Yeah, I was going to say, what has been your favorite part just about all of this, this whole show and this whole experience? I think just watching Duke grow up and seeing how she copes with different situations and seeing how she can just light up a room or seeing how she expresses herself, yeah. that's been pretty fun for me. That's really cool. And I know, has it um, increased your interest uh, interest in doing other projects. I know we talked in the back, you're, you've done a movie. Yeah, I did just finish uh, filming a movie with Brian Tyree Henry. Oh, I love him. <laughs> it was so much fun. Uh, there were many funny moments, but uh, we filmed it in Brooklyn. Uh, for, it took about three weeks. It was a little chilly, but that just added on to the entire movie. Uh, he played uh, a man called Charles, and I played a young girl, and basically what happens is he is trying to get back into his apartment and she is going to help him. <laughs> What's the name of the movie? Can you tell uh, The it? Outside Story. Awesome, and how was it different being in a movie versus doing the, the show? Well, obviously movies take uh, less time, but you still get to connect with the people on set, the actors, you still get to connect with everyone. So you have all this amazing stuff going on, but you're still just a kid. So what is your favorite thing to do when you're not working? Ooh, I, I do like to read. I'm a reader. Ooh, good. But I also like to paint. What kind of painting? I do like Bob Ross. <gasps> oh, my God. We are soulmates. <laughs> I love Bob Ross. Actually, Brian actually introduced me to Bob Ross. What do you love about Bob Ross? I like, how no, no mistakes, <laughs> happy accidents. Happy accidents. Pretty little tree. Pretty, pretty little trees. Pretty little clouds. Pretty little mountain. I love how we. I love how everything's happy, and if there's a mistake, it's fine. <laughs> it's a painting. That is such a good thing to love and appreciate at your age. You know what I mean? Just like the no accidents. Everything happens. Everything's fine. So, do you paint landscapes or do you paint pictures? Well, like, I, what do do you like, I do. I do. I do like to paint. Attempt some of the things he paints because <laughs> they do not look the same most of the time. I try, but usually they don't look the same. Um, but yeah, I like to paint landscapes. I like to try to uh, paint anything colorful. Mm. Okay, what kind of shows do you watch? Because uh, I would imagine, wait, first of all, can you watch better things? Are you allowed to? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my, usually my mom watches the episode first, and if there's anything. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do like watching The Flash. Supergirl, yes. DC Legends of Tomorrow, love those shows. I did love the show Lost. I watched the show Lost, and Once Upon a Time, those two shows I loved. Yeah. You have incredibly good taste. <laughs> I love that. We're going to talk more TV after the show. I think yes. we have a lot more in common. Yes, I think we should do that. Okay, perfect. Also, yeah, I Dream of Jeannie. We I, dream, talk about that. I, dream, I, dream, I Dream of Jeannie, of course. I know. I mean, the fact that you know who Barbara Eden is just, like, blows my mind. I, I, actually, I actually met her, which was so cool. When I went... Uh, when I went to get one of like the bottles, yeah. uh, she was doing a uh, meet and greet, and I was like, I have to meet her. I was like, she's so cool. I really want to meet her. That is fantastic. I see you playing Jeannie in like a future spinoff. Why not? I would love that. Okay, let's make it happen. I would. I'm all for that. <laughs> <laughs> I know we have a couple questions before we get out of here. Yeah. Uh, the first is from Twitter. Sure. Uh, MMI Meow 89 wants to know, hi, Olivia. I was wondering what was your favorite behind the scenes moment? Oh, that's a good question. My favorite behind the scenes moment, okay, this is a pretty sweet one, uh, would probably be when, remember Eulogy? Mm -hmm. Okay, after we filmed the scene, we all kind of broke down crying. And it was such a sweet moment. It wasn't only the actors, it was the entire crew broke down crying because it was such an emotional and touching scene. And everyone was just happy, but they were all crying because it was a beautiful scene yeah. and we all kind of felt the emotion. That's a beautiful scene and it's nice to know that you work on a set like that where everybody seems Every, to be like a family. Uh, yeah, everyone's a family. I love that. And we have one question from the audience. Hi. Hey. Um, so we have an online question. Sure. And they wanted to know what was your favorite episode filming and do you look up to anyone on, on set? Uh, well, of course I look up to Pamela Adelon, Celia Emery and the girls. They're just 
incredible actresses and I love watching them act. So I think it's pretty amazing to see how they work. I think my favorite episode would probably be White Rock. That was a pretty intense episode and I love how Duke handled seeing the sad lady. Well, Olivia, it's been so great chatting with you. Like I Thank said, you. I love this show. I love you on the show. Thank you. And season three has started off so great. I cannot <laughs> wait to see how it wraps up. Oh, and okay. I can't wait to see you become Bob Ross one day. Oh. <laughs> if you guys want to check out Better Things, it airs on FX at 10 p.m. on Thursdays. Give it up for Olivia Edward. Yeah.